Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about present time. Uh, of course, we know from uh, several meditation methods that one of the objectives of meditation is to bring you in present time your five senses sight, smell, we want to be able to taste, to smell, to hear. All the senses touch. You want to be feeling them in present time. And I like you to consider the mind like a video player. So the mind can play you present time. So it's playing you this image that has sound in it. Uh, it also has taste, it has smell, it can, uh, there are feelings, it's touch associated with it uh, as well. So it can either play you in present time. And it's also a little bit like iTunes because it has a catalog of videos it can also play you you can go down in memory and go to the historical archive and play you a video from the memory or from the historical archives so it's like a playhead the playhead can play you present time which is desirable or it can play you historical videos and it can play you any combination of both. So it can play you 20% present time and play you 80% historical videos. Or it can, of course, play you 5% present time and play you 95% historical videos, or vice versa. And, of course, you want the playhead to be on present time because, of course, this is where you are engaged in your environment. And if you notice, sometimes when you drive from Long Island to New York City and it took you like an hour to get to New York City and when you flash back, you can't remember what happened because the playhead is on the historical archives and you were not in present time. There must have been a Tesla you passed by and it could have figured a thought, oh my God, I need to buy a Tesla because it's zero emissions and it's good for the environment. You didn't think that because you were not in present time. So this, the playhead, moved to a historical archive, a video, and it could play you anything. It could play you that you met Charles Bronson at a restaurant in Pennsylvania and he hurt you. And he can play it any number of times. Or it could move on to, oh, I was waiting for my husband for one hour in a restaurant for our anniversary and he kept giving excuses as to why he didn't, he's running late. Or it can play something like, I was sick in hospital, I almost died, and my sister never visited me. So you can go to the historical archive and keep playing these videos, and you're not in present time. So what can you do about it? One of the things you can do is simple. You can insist on being in present time. And it's very simple. You have to make sure that you're present time. If you are driving, you can hold the steering wheel and feel it. So the same image, so you use the, the touch is the feel it. So feel your steering wheel. How does it feel? You can, you know, wind down the windows and wind them up again. You can, you know, push the sunroof back and, you know, get it uh, back in place again. Anything you can do, engage your environment so that you can be in present time. And of course, you can, of course, as you're driving, you can concentrate on your breathing. You can even pop in the head breathing CD by Ume Anna, and uh, it can, of course, bring you to present time because it's going to make you breathe in present time. And so it's very important that you insist on being in present time and you have to persist. So it's not just that you insist, you persist because when you insist on being in present time, the playhead is still going to go to historical archive and go to the Charles Bronson event, but you insist that you be on present time, you feel the steering wheel, you can take the car off cruise control, feel your foot on the pedal, how does it feel? Could it be better? Is there a car that has a better uh, pedal feel? You know, you want to be engaged in present time. Nothing as important as that. Present time. 